Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost, welcome to my page. I'm a coach, mentor, strategist, healer and spiritual guide for visionaries, entrepreneurs, leaders, innovators, doing something revolutionary, new, sorry, I've got some hair in my face, innovative on the planet, right? And I'd like to talk to you about being a powerful manifester of your desires and dreams. People get confused, right? And you might be confused, but I want you to, one of the beauties of working with me is I think bigger than most people and I think very differently to most people. And it's our thought systems that get in the way and our belief systems we have to adapt, right? To be in alignment with our highest vision of who we are, what we want, what we want to experience in our lives, what we want to do on this planet that's purposeful and aligned with our soul, right? Our dreams and desires, as far as I'm concerned, and I believe this full, full heartedly, are sacred. They're from God, yeah? There is no doubt in my mind that your divinity, your inner guidance system, is putting every true dream and desire into your heart. Now, when I say true dream and desire, this is because I distinguish with people between ego desires, which is like, I want to keep up with the Joneses, and soul desires, which is there's something inside of me that I've always felt compelled to do. There's some things that I really want to experience that are always true to me. Yeah? A soul desire comes from a pure place. That does not mean that a soul desire couldn't be very lavish, right? I run a company called The Lavish Life. It could be very lavish. To me, lavish means generous, abundant, more than enough, abundantly giving, abundantly generous, abundantly resourceful, abundantly in every way, right? So, so we don't have to have, desire doesn't have to mean anything that you may or may not consider over the top, but everything on this planet is relative. But our desires are God-made, not man-made. Hi, John, whatever religious belief you have, yeah, it's a spiritual thing to have something in your heart to do on this planet. It's meant for you, yeah? So I, I live by, if I, design, if I deny my purpose here, if I deny that there's a reason I'm here, if I try and pretend it's an accident, some random event and not a divine assignment, I'm, devi I'm denying my divinity, yeah? There is nothing in your heart coming from a pure place of desire, not an ego-driven desire, like I say, not something to impress someone, not something to keep up with the Joneses, not something to validate you to other people, but something that's true for you. If, you, if your desire is to travel, if your desire is to have a huge family, my desire, part of it, is to have my beautiful Frenchies, you know? Whatever those desires are are God-given, not man-made. So at that point, I don't mess with them, yeah? My job is to align with them, but not question them. So many of us have got a business we want to do, have got a purpose we want to live, have got ways in which we want to experience life and we're trying to validate it or compare or look outside of us to see if it's okay. It doesn't come from there. It's already sacred that you have some desire. You might only know it in essence, in terms of your purpose, but you're meant to do it. And because I know it's sacred, I know it gets to be supported by the universe abundantly, i.e. you get to be paid for it if it's your work. No doubt, the, the biggest illusion on this planet that I'm here to completely radically change and demystify is that you couldn't work doing the things you love and get monetized, get paid for it. So. When I see it as a divine assignment, not a random event, not just something I want, not an indulgence, like an absolute sacred truth, then I don't have to know, yeah, right now, how everything is going to work out. Most of us are using electricity, yeah? None of us know how electricity works, but you know your light's going to come on. When you can actually believe at that level that your vision is that inevitable, unless you stop it, you know, unless you don't turn the light on, if you can, and I can get you to believe this, by the way, <laughs> I am great at getting people to believe this and become rich from doing it. But like, here's the point. If you can believe it's a design assignment, it is protected and guided and supported from a power way beyond you. Yeah. Then we stop trying to get permission from the outside. We stop asking people who we are and we trust who we are. What you feel inside of you is true. What you want to do, how you want to do it is true for you. Yeah. You might not have found the way yet, 
doesn't mean there's not a way. There's multiple ways most of the time, right? So we don't want to dampen them down. So many of us, right? Here's what a lot of us have been taught to do. We have a desire in our heart, right? Or we won't even dare go there because we've been disappointed in the past, right? So we spend most of our life trying not to be frustrated and disappointed rather than playing in that desire. I know what it's like to go through very hard times in your life, yeah? And I promise you that nothing will give you more fuel than what inside of you is a passion for you. It will save your life sometimes if it needs to. If we can connect to that place, I believe it's life-giving, I believe it's life-saving because treading water through our lives, living a numbed out life that isn't really us, not experiencing what we're on this beautiful planet to experience, to me is a complete travesty. And there's just a lot of illusions, right, that try and make you stay in fear and believe it's not available. I promise you, everything you have in your heart to do is. And if you just fuel it, right, to stay in your heart and dream, to stay in your heart and think of those things, just stay in your heart and let them grow let the excitement grow let the energy grow yeah don't use it or try and just change this just be on the journey of changing when you fall a desire and then you go back to your normal life for a minute your present time don't use it as a thing to torture you use it as a thing to inspire you to get the fuck up and change what you're doing again time attention and resources like time attention money our resources are what we've got to put into our future rather than recreating our present or going back to the past, being in those loops, yeah? How we do that has to change in order for us to radically change. But what's so fascinating, and I've done over and over again with people and myself, is that change available instantly. It's an elevation of consciousness. And at that point, nothing in your life is the same. <laughs> Everything gets easy in a minute. Once you elevate your consciousness to an abundant mindset, for example, I do have a course called Living from Abundance. You can buy it on my website. It's only $333 at the moment. Um, and I also have some other things I want to talk to you about. But the biggest thing I want to say is don't kill your dreams. Look at where you're defensive. Look at where you have shut it down. Look at where you think it's a risk. Yeah, it's so much more risky to live a life that's not yours. I started on this journey because I was a lawyer and, I, you know, I, I was a hotshot law graduate, whatever. And I heard a statistic at 9 a.m. No, I heard a statistic that at 10 a.m. on a Monday morning, most people that have heart attacks in the Western world, that's the time they die of them. And I realized that is way more than just a health issue. That is people stressed going to jobs they don't like. So this isn't just, like, I, I take this seriously. It's not just, uh, oh, it would be nice to do something that I like and get paid for it. If you are living in slavery, if you are living in bondage, if you are not set free, if you are not here to be, if you're not finding ways to fuel and fully express yourself and finding ways to be supported in it, yeah, then this is not the way we want to live our lives, yeah? It's not the only way. That's what I'm saying to you. I know it can be extremely hard. I'm not trying to... Um, make you feel bad in any way. I've been in so many situations where, you know, things don't look possible. I understand how hard life can seem, but it is an illusion, yeah? You get to be, you just, when, until you elevate your consciousness and think differently about it, the opportunities, the other ways you could manage it are not available to you. People are so regimented in how it has to work. When my private clients come to me, I'm like, well, we can do this, this, and this, and this. It doesn't even require your time. Let's monetize this way. Let's help, you know, we can have income streams this way. It depends on their goals, but there are so many more possibilities and opportunities, but it starts with you waking up to a higher level of consciousness beyond what you know. On that, you may join Elevate You. That is an amazing course. I've just made it available for self-study in a private Facebook group. It is only $222 a month if you want to self-study it, and that will be for six months that you pay it and then you can have it. Um, but I'm also, if you pay it up front in full for one, 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 I'm throwing in a 90 minute strategy session with you. And I've also got, um, unusually a six week container where I'm taking people because really we want to go into next year strong, um, on a one-on-one -on -one journey, which is three 90 minute sessions. The first one's on your brand and your positioning. Your second one is on your products and services. And your third is on your sales and marketing. Um, I don't normally do six week, uh, one-on-ones and my, um, six months and 12 months strategy containers, coaching and strategy containers are a completely different investment and a very long time um, situation.
situation. But for people who haven't built the right foundation yet, I really want to help you. Look, people starting who haven't got the foundation to scale, who are hodgepodging, who are buying into gimmicks. You know, you think it's like two hundred dollars here, two there, but it's not actually moving the needle. It's not the strategic approach you need. It hasn't got the depth of intelligence that you can bespoke to you to push you forward. Then you need to come into my world because I, you know, like. We, we try and make shortcuts on something that actually requires a strong foundation. But beyond that, your purpose is a divine assignment. It's meant for you. Your dreams are meant for you. And they're meant to fuel you. They're meant to energize you. They're meant to keep you going. They're meant to help you through the hard days, not torture you on them, not make you feel lack, make you feel vision, <laughs> make you feel that you are going to become something more than you've ever known, more than you've ever been. And it is so possible for you. It's so available for you. Trust me, there's no way you can come anywhere near my energy without knowing that and changing your life and changing your world. So I'm sending you a ton of love, feel the vibes. I'll speak to you soon.